Well, hello on this rainy and chilly day. Um, hopefully, the sound of the rain on my metal roof is not too distracting, but you know what? I said I was going to post every single day, and that's what I'm going to do. It's supposed to be raining all day today, so there's really nothing I can do about it. So I apologize in advance. Um, but for today's project, I'm so excited. We are still continuing on with our Valentine's Day um, like series, and these are going to be cute. I, I'm so excited. So what I have are some silicone molds. These are for little containers, like little makeup brush containers or pencil containers, and they're both hearts. Got one that's kind of a traditional heart, and the one's like a geometric. And we're gonna be doing some Valentine's Day colors. I'm not really sure exactly which direction I'm going in yet, but I do wanna do one with alcohol ink and one with glitter, so we're kinda of trying two different techniques all at the same time and just kinda of get a feel for which one we prefer. Um, I'm not really sure about the colors yet, but um, I'm gonna take a look at what I have and um, we'll get started on that. I'm so excited. These are gonna be really cute. So let's go ahead and get to it. Resin is mixed. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit of this mica powder. This is a very shiny silver mica powder and I want a little bit in the resin just to kind of give it a shimmer. So I'm gonna put just a teeny tiny bit. I do not want a lot. Maybe about that much. All right. Now I have mica powder floating all in the air. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. All right, so these are gonna be done two different styles. Um, both are gonna have mica powder um, just lightly throughout the resin, so I'm just putting it in all. And I'm gonna give this a stir. And this is just gonna give it just a little bit of a sparkle, a little bit of shine. The first one of these is gonna be very simple, and that's what I wanted to add just a little bit of mica powder just to make it just a little more interesting. Okay, so for mold number one, I want to use this one here. It's slightly shorter, just slightly shorter, and it's wider. I think I wanna do the alcohol ink technique in this one very easy um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill this mold up with the resin and yes i'm just pouring the clear resin into this we will add the alcohol inks on top and then use white alcohol ink to help it push down further into the resin the goal for this is to have a very colorful bottom on this makeup brush holder and the colors kind of streak towards the top to where some of the top will be clear with just the mica in it. That looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and spritz the top of this with some alcohol just to pop a few of those micro bubbles. Let's see if I can get you a little closer here. Okay. So you can see a lot of the sparkle and shine from the mica. Very pretty. You can also see some of those little micro bubbles popping on the surface. That's what we want. We're going to be using the classic colors for this. Um, so we've got. Uh, raspberry, this is not focusing. We've got raspberry of the Ranger inks, the Tim Holtz. Um, I've got one called Aphrodite Purple. This is from a local vendor. 
and then we've got peach pink this is actually some off of Amazon violet same Amazon brand purple Amazon brand and then we may be using this pink and then we have our white we're going to be using drops of each of these colors onto the surface and then we're going to drip the white afterwards and that white's going to help pull the ink through the mold towards the top it should not make it all the way to the top but if it does that's fine um, that's what I love about alcohol inks there is no rhyme or reason they each project turns out differently and they're all unique so I, I love it we're gonna get started with I think we're gonna start with this raspberry Tim Holtz and I'm just gonna put a couple of drops Let's see how that's spreading. And then this purple from the local vendor. This is from uh, Sparkle Spirits. This actually has a little bit of mica mixed into the alcohol ink itself. So it's kind of a shimmery pearlescent. So that's not going to hurt my feelings if it just makes it a little more shiny. And then we're going to use the peach pink. I'm just dropping about three drops of each color. All of these are very close in color, but it should give enough variance to just kind of give an effect of like ombre and be a little blended, but still have separate colors. This is the purple from the Amazon. This one is a much lighter purple than the one from the local vendor. Then we've got regular pink the Amazon brand and last we've got violet this is a much more cool toned purple okay and right now all of these inks are sitting on the surface nothing has really penetrated um, through to the rest of the mold so that's what this white does is it helps push it through and shake it up and we're going to just start dripping our white and it looks as if it's going to make everything pastel but white ink doesn't quite work like that it will lighten it up some but white ink just kind of acts as a travel medium it's heavier than the other inks so it kind of pulls the other inks deeper into the mold um, you'll kind of see this like boiling effect where the white ink is sinking through and you'll start to notice that um, there's not as much ink sitting on the surface as it starts to pull through to the bottom of the mold I'm going to spritz this with rubbing alcohol this is just going to further disperse the color kind of see it gives that boiling kind of effect there and the last thing we have to do is kind of just wait um, I don't really see too many bubbles on the surface right now so I'm going to give this a few minutes just to do its thing and to have time to sink and then I will see if I feel like adding some more white ink to it um, it's kind of a waiting game at this moment, so we're going to set this one to the side and get started on our other one. With the second mold, we're going to be doing glitter. I have two little mixing containers here, and then I'm going to use the original resin cup for my third. So I'm just going to pour off some of each of these little mixing cups. In the first cup, we're going to be doing 
Flamingo. This is by Maker Flow. This is a holographic, um, like deep pink camera. Kind of has a hard time picking up that color there. Very pretty. Second color is Poppin' Pink. This is also by Maker Flow, and this is an iridescent, very bright neon pink. And the third, also by Maker Flow, this is Snowflake, and this is an iridescent white. I think these are going to work perfectly together. So I'm going to start with the color I want on the top of the mold. And I want this going in a kind of a pattern from light to darkest. So that means I need the white to be the first color that we pour. So I'm going to use what's in the original mixing cup first because that's what I have the most of. Um, so I'm just going to mix directly into this cup. And let's see there and we're going to mix this up. At all. No, not really. But you can see all the colors from the iridescent. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pour this into the mold first. I may have to use the heat gun just to heat this up a little bit and um, just make it a little more liquid so that it'll flow down into the mold well because this has been sitting for a few minutes and it has started to thicken up a good bit. So I'm going to do that right now. Now to the pink, the lighter pink. And I'm going to just add it directly to one of these mixing cups. Stir and then pour directly on top of the white. Now our third color, this is the Flamingo, that really pretty holographic. This is what both are looking like. I just splashed this one just a little bit when I was moving it. So you can see we've got our dark pink and I will get a shot from the side. Um, dark pink to white glitter. And then we have our alcohol ink one. This is turned into kind of a berry color um, overall. It has a lot of sinking going on. I'm loving how this is looking so far. So let me get a couple of shots to show you guys. So this is the glitter one. You can see the white to light pink to dark pink gradient. That's going to be really pretty. And then you can see how much the inks have pushed down into this mold. The bottom still looks like it's clear, which is what we wanted with just that little bit of mica. So I'm really excited to see how these are going to turn out. Um, I think there's a lot more color mixing in this one um, than I was expecting, but that's okay. They're all in the same color family, so even if it turns kind of this solid berry color, I'm still completely fine with that. Um, but I'm going to run the heat gun over both of these to pop some of these surface bubbles, and then we're going to let these cure for 24 hours. It's been a few days. They're good and cured now. And it is time to finally unmold them and see what they look like. This could go very well. And this could uh, potentially have some issues. First thing I want to note is this one. You can see pretty much all the inks combined. There are some light and dark parts. But everything turned kind of this uh, berry color. And... Um, you don't really see much pink so I'm really curious to see how this one looks and you can see through the mold how far the ink did travel down into it. I'm really excited to see how it looks. And then with this one we had layers. Um, white on bottom and then we had a bright pink in the middle and this darker pink on top. However, 
as you can see with this one as well there has been a lot of mixing to happen you can see here Let me get you in frame you can see how this was the white layer and there's pink that's made it all the way to the bottom and there's darker parts that made it in the middle so this is probably gonna be very uh different but it's probably still gonna be cool so i'm excited to get these unmolded I'm trying to just roll this mold down which is probably terrible for the mold but I mean I'm gonna be honest I'm desperate at this point this thing is not wanting to come out very easy well as excited as I am to see this it's definitely fighting back with me it's not as excited to show itself I think what's making this so hard is that I'm not having to just loosen up out here but there's also this section inside and that is all connected and stuck and I can't begin to move all of this out until I get the outside out so it's I, I can't just pull it even though I'm trying we're just gonna keep working on it we'll get it eventually okay all right okay so we're making it somewhere we can see the outside now we've just got to get the inside out which should be a lot easier oh oh here we go here we go I've been shaking the table and the camera this whole time but this has been a struggle we finally got it Okay, we finally got it out. Oh my goodness, that was a struggle and now I'm worried about the other one. All right, so here's what the inside is looking like. And from the sides here, get it closer up. Okay, so a few things to note first. Our colors definitely mixed pretty thoroughly don't really know why they've done that I've done a lot of alcohol inks before in that same fashion and they they might make some but you could pretty much see a different color here and there but this looks like we dropped one color in but it's still pretty I do like the fact that there's clear but I don't know if you can see it or not we wound up with a uh, little rogue piece of glitter right there of my nail um so yeah I don't really know if there's anything I can do about that it does look pretty close to the surface I may be able to get it out um, but it's a little copper piece of glitter and then in the clear parts especially if I can get you in frame in the clear parts, you can see all of that um, mica and the shiny glitter. It's a lot of micro bubbles though, but that's okay. I, I don't really mind the micro bubbles. I didn't expect it to be crystal clear. Um, but yeah, cute. Another thing I'm gonna note. So, I'm gonna give this a couple of more days to cure. This has already been curing for three days and this thing is extremely soft. I don't know if you can see that. Um, don't really know what's going on there. It may just need more cure time. Uh, I would think that maybe it's because of the alcohol inks, but if that were the case, then this would be soft and the part up here that didn't get the alcohol ink would be cured and, and, and it's not. Um, so we're going to give it a couple of days. It may harden up. Um, 
if it does not, well, you know, pretty much this, uh, this won't be too usable. I might use it around my shop somewhere, but, um, yeah, it's pretty. I do like the, uh, color, the berry color, even if it was unintentional. That's what the bottom looks like, and then there's, like, this edge that I'll need to, uh, clean up but I don't want to try to clean this up until this thing hardens up if it ever hardens up but yeah all right so there's there's number one these are gonna be cute though like for a little um, makeup brush or like pencil cup well pencils a little tall but maybe like pens paint brushes so cute all right let's go on to the second one not looking forward to the struggle that this is about to be to get this removed oh my goodness okay first one about defeated me so let's go ahead and get this one out of here this one is already coming out so much easier than the first one I don't know if the mold is just easier to work with. And we're free. So let's see what we have here. Okay. First, I love this geometric heart. That is so pretty. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This turned out so much better than I could have hoped for. When I poured it, I was expecting to have kind of loose layers. I didn't want a, a solid line. I poured them all back to back while the epoxy was still um, very runny. So I knew that there would be some blending. Um, I did not expect these large like runs of color, like this one and this one. And I'm so glad that it did. It looks so pretty. And look at the sparkle. Look at the sparkle. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. All right. Well, a couple of notes about this one. First, way easier to demold. I think I might know the reason. These were poured at the same time out of the same batch of resin. This one, while still soft, I'm having to put some effort into bending this. So this one is much harder than the other one, which leads me to think that this one was definitely affected by the alcohol ink, which means it may never fully cure. Um, that sucks, but we'll, we'll just give it a few days to see. Um, another thing about this one is the fact that this one is so much softer. I think also made it a little tackier to the inside of its mold and made it harder to remove because this one came out a lot easier, a lot easier and it's, it's way more cured. So. I guess we're just going to set these to the side because this one is still a little on the soft side. We definitely want to let it cure, but I have no doubt that this one will fully cure. This one's a question mark, but I am in love with these. They're so pretty. This one's definitely my favorite, hands down. Well, what are your thoughts? These are really cute. Um. My personal thoughts, like I said, when we were kind of doing the close-up, this is definitely my favorite. I love the glitter. I love how we accidentally wound up with this um, almost like dripping design. It's, I love it. Those colors are perfect. The gradients are perfect. This turned out so much better than what I originally had in mind, like so much better. Um, the iridescent along with the holographic, I, I'm in love with this. I honestly want to keep this for myself. Um, but I may do a project in the future, um, something a little bit larger for myself to keep down here in the studio. 
but yeah, I, I'm super happy with this one. Now for our, wouldn't call it a flop, but our uh, questionable results. So again, super cute, beautiful color. I mean, that berry color is so pretty. I, I'm not bashing the color at all. But um, I am a little bit disappointed that the alcohol ink separated, or didn't separate, they mixed, um, and just kind of created one solid purple berry color. Um, I wish that they would have stayed separate, that's what I was trying to say the first time, um, and would have had like the different streaks. And I've done projects before like that where the alcohol inks did kind of stay separate and um, I don't really know what happened. Now I was using three different brands of alcohol inks. Several of them were a cheaper brand off of Amazon. Maybe they didn't play well together. Maybe I overmixed it. Maybe the epoxy wasn't the, the right temperature. I, I don't really know. Something happened and um, they ended up mixing. But either way, it still turned out really cute. I love the mica in there. You can see all the sparkle. It did end up with a lot of micro bubbles. Kind of looks okay in this. Um, I'm not mad about them. It kind of gives it like a frosted glass appearance versus a very clear piece. And the mica that's in it like kind of bounces and it almost makes it look like there's more mica in here than there actually is because the, the bubbles. Um, so I'm not mad about that. Uh, as far as the curing goes, this one is still quite soft. I don't know if this is going to fully cure. And honestly, I'm probably messing up by touching this with my bare hands because I am allergic to resin before it cures. So, uh, pray for me. Um, this one, however, was poured out of the same batch at the same time. And it is cured. Like, it is... It's hard. So, I don't know. Maybe the alcohol inks also. Maybe I added too much. Um, maybe they're just delaying. I don't, I don't know. I'll update you guys on that. But either way, I feel like today was a success. Um, I got two beautiful products at the end of the day. I learned some things. We learned a new technique with the whole drippy. I mean, love that. So... It was a success either way. Even if it had been a complete failure, we still are winning by learning something new. But I'm going to let you guys go for today because I know all of this raining, dripping sound is annoying me and I'm hoping that it's not too bad for you. But I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video.